So the engine mounts are all lined up with the uh, bolts through them now. And just down in there you can see the drive shaft coupler I've pulled in up against the back of the motor. And uh, once I've got it lined up nice and uh, straight, it looks fairly straight at the moment. <coughs> Um, but I'm not tightening up the engine mount bolts even though they look like they're in around about the right spot um, I'm going to now put the jet pump in so when the pump unit gets um, bolted in it's going to slightly push this shaft up against the motor a little bit more and then once that's pulled in tight up against the motor and I can check that there's nothing slightly offline uh, then I'm going to do up the engine mount bolts and that should have everything uh, mounted in place correctly then and it all should align nicely um, but before starting the engine I'm going to remove the uh, plugs and then turn the motor over just to make sure that when the coupling spins over with the drive shaft there's no binding on different angles so it's a nice smooth operation um, otherwise you'll cause issues if nothing's lined up correctly along now on the Aquatrax, the jet pump, I slid it into place, manipulated it slightly sideways to, for the spline to line up, and then I've, once the spline's lined up and gone into the impeller, I've bolted the pump all in place, which in turn has nicely pushed the drive shaft coupling in against the um, the coupling on the back of the engine and then to align all the engine mounts that are still slightly loose up to the exact spot where they used to be um, one of the methods I've just done is put a piece of wood across here another little piece of wood over the other side so I've nudged it a little bit back this way to line up right back this way to line up the marks accordingly on my engine mounts and then I've used this pinch bar against this bit of wood so I don't damage any of the actual fiberglass slightly pushed it that way it's lined up everything correctly and then um, I've used the socket and wrench and started doing up engine mounts I've done that one up first so then uh, this one down here and the one over the other side I can still get a little bit of pivoting of the engine to make sure that I've lined up that coupling correctly so um, uh, you'll be able to do little measurements um, of the gaps to make sure that each one has the same amount of gap that way and the same amount of gap that way so um, uh, you might need to turn the motor over slightly to check more gaps <coughs>